Hey everybody, my name is Gunnar and welcome back for another video of Empire Total War. We're gonna continue this series, boys. Obviously with the last territories on the last video, we had a big one, right? We did the battles, uh, we rescued or we secured Yankton for good. And we also secured uh, Lower Louisiana and made peace with France. Uh, we still don't know. I actually forgot to put up a poll for you guys. Asking you uh, if I needed to do something in particular, well, who would be my next target, but I don't think we're going to choose in this video. I think in this video we might just chill out a bit or I'll just, if we, it comes to war, I guess I'll do it myself. I choose it myself, but it's really going to be about rebuilding our territories here and uh, rebuilding our armies and making sure that uh, really we're good, right? We've got uh, what it takes to face off against anyone that would want to uh, face us eventually. So I think we're good for this turn. We're just going to go ahead and skip it uh, onto the next turn right here. Nothing too serious about all of this. Military alliance with Great Britain. Here's the thing. I, I'm going to refuse all these military alliance that they want to have. I need to choose first who I'm targeting next and then I can... Uh, with that, choose my military allies so that they can help me out in wars and stuff. Because unless I know for a fact who I'm going up against, I'm not going to ally, my, ally myself with anyone. Well, I could ally myself with France, but why would I do that for? Uh, are they, they're basically at war with ev everyone, yeah. What I do want, however, I am willing to do some stuff, so... How about you give me that technology right here and I'll just give you uh, actually and you give me uh, some military access. See, just for 10 turns, I'll, I'll give you about 30k, boy, uh, buddy. How does that sound? 30k for um, uh, this technology, military access. We agree. All right, good. There we go. Good, quick 30k. That's going to help them out in their war efforts and we get uh, some stuff out of it. So it's just going to be micromanaging for this video, boys. Uh, I'm not, I don't know if we're going to go to war with anyone unless uh, someone declares war to us, which I don't think it's going to happen. We've got a clear ally in the Cherokee right here. So we're securing everything. The Indians, the, uh, na uh, the natives are going to have their territories back, boys, eventually. So we got that technology. Looks like these things are not popping up. There's still more that have been declared. Spain versus Russia. And uh, first ship. So our nation just uh, built our first ration of, chi of ships, boys, which is really good. We got that right there that we needed to build. Anything else? I don't think we need to build anything else. No, we don't need to focus on anything uh, right here. Uh, when you can, As you can see right here, I don't know why my money is going down. Maybe, you know what, I'm just going to equip the mod then. Make sure my money doesn't go down. For some odd reason, it went down. Alright, so I think we're good. How how old is my actual uh, leader? 66 years of age, alright. He's, um, he's not that old, so we're good with him. What about these guys? Are they fully healed up? They're fully healed up. We're good on our terms. Uh, I'm still waiting for my last one that I'm building right here and we're gonna have a complete army right here That's pretty good. So we got two complete uh, Armies and that's about it. I need more than two armies Probably two armies on the north Hmm, I need I gotta figure it out boys. I gotta figure it out what I'm supposed to do what I want to do exactly right here I gotta figure all this shit out. I'm still uh Rebuilding this these armies right here. We're still in uh, the same year. I Don't know if I want to go uh, against the United States right here. The Cherokees got some they are they would be able to take this right here um, I'd be tempted to go for it But I'm not sure boys am I not do I not have access for the Cherokee? We are allied after all so that's kind of weird if we don't have access. Yeah, yeah, indefinite access for both of us, buddy. How, how does that sound? There we go. Yeah, we are military allies, so it would be may, make more sense if we just agreed to uh, to go into our each of our territories. 
You know what? I think I'm going to be tempted to go for uh, the United States here. I think that's going to be my next target. It's going to be the United States, definitely. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for that, boys. I'm going to exempt these guys from taxes just so I don't get any into any trouble right here. I'm going to recruit these guys. I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. What about this right here? Good. So, yeah, I'm going to go to war against the Americans, I think. But that uh, that means, though, that I am going to have to build two large armies over here. So, I got to rebuild these armies first. First off, there we go. Uh, I'm going to have to get a general in here. That's done. So, we already have two cavalries. Uh, three cavalries can uh, get rid of one of them and focus on... I guess just military, plain military for now. For this, so these guys were just gonna focus big time on militaries. We already have this. I'm gonna get rid of one of them and yeah, let's go. Let's go, boys. We got that. We got this. So that is done. We're building two armies. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna build two armies right here. Um, I think this city should be should be fine, but I am gonna need to build another army right here most definitely so just build another army i'm going to destroy this one and continue to build i guess a bunch of archers everywhere boys we don't have too much of a choice right here so until my armies are fully completed or fully uh done i'm going to keep this full army right there i don't feel like uh, i need to move it uh any further this is my army with the cannon that has a cannon yeah it is yeah, I think my next target is clearly going to be the uh, United States. So I am going to go ahead and ally myself with the, uh, the Britain right here. So let's say request an alliance with Britain. Uh, technology, I don't want to give you anything. Um, how about you give me territories? Can you not give me territories? Like, that sounds pretty simple. Just the Uron territory, my God. Just that one. I can give you some technologies as well and I can give you the payment that you need is so desperately need so uh, unacceptable all right well I just want to be allies then just to be allies let's go there we go right, so we're allied with the uh, with Great Britain I don't feel like allying myself with friends would be much of a, uh, would do much of anything uh, I think that's the only people that can really help me out is French and uh, it's England and the Cherokees. So I don't need to worry about any other people. I am going to give some money to the Cherokee though. I think they're going to need it though. They're definitely going to need it. They're at war with Spain. Uh, would you look at that? They're at war with Spain, boys. Interesting. Well, um, actually, I'm going to give you that. And I'm also going to give you some money here, about uh, 50k. I'm going to give them 50k, boys, so they uh, can build more armies and be prepared for this shit. If they're already focusing on the uh, Spanish, I'm blocking the route. The Spanish can't go through me. I don't think so, right? The, can the Spanish go through me? Let me see really quick. Uh, open this. No, they can't. They can't go through my territory, so... They would have to go with the navy and stuff, which they're already doing. Look at this. They are they are doing that. Okay, yeah. I could focus on the Spanish, but I really want to get rid of the uh, Americans first. So we're going to focus on the Americans. Once the Americans are done for, then we'll go for the uh, Spanish. All right, we're in the next turn. In, 17, in the next year too, 1791. Uh, gathering the water, so a bunch of armies getting completed here, some construction done. The Big Bottom Incident, what is that? Big Bottom, a new settlement on the Ma uh, Musing uh, Muskingum River in Ohio has come under attack for, uh, from a native war party, resulting in the brutal deaths of, uh, of 11 men, one woman and two children, as well as the capture of three others and then a handful of survivors were forced to flee for their lives. Despite the existence of a treaty between native tribes and settlers, areas in Ohio are still disputed. This has not stopped the Ohio co Company of Associates from proceeding financial, financial strain as led to under-investment. Uh, investment. 
Uh, this regrettable situation may go, uh, go some way towards explaining why the settlers kept such a poor watch over Big Bottom and why they had not even completed the construction of the blockhouse. The tragedy could have not been much worse if not for the actions of Colonel William uh, Stacy of Marietta, who skated 30 miles uh, up the icy river to bring word of the impending attack in his two son, uh, to his two sons, only one of whom was to survive the massacre. Damn, that's that's crazy. This guy went up and skated. This is Canada, all right, boys. This this well, it's not Canada. It's actually over here. But this man went up and skated all the way through that river just. <laughs> Just to um, to uh, tell everyone that uh, there was an attack and stuff. Holy, this man is it's a brave man. It's a brave man, man. We got to talk about him more often. All right. So what about this right here? We're still building. Yeah, I need to build my army um, a bit further here. There we go. Continue to build my army right here. Uh, there is my scout right here that I was working on. So. Uh, working on a billion him here. There we go. It's taking his sweet ass time to get there, boys, but that is what it is. Get there. I think everybody's happy now. Yeah, they should be happy enough to pay me. It's no uh, trouble at all. So I'm just going to go ahead and ask them, uh, ask these guys to go there. They're going to focus in here. I think we should be good for the rest. These armies, they seem like they're good enough. I was building an army over Texas. That's right, I forgot. I was building an army over Texas. I completely forgot about that. Yeah. Let's continue that project, boys. Okay, so I'm kind of tempted to just send that army. That's really experienced. It's really well experienced. Tended to send that army over here to help out. It's a full army. But uh, I I don't know if I want to. I, I really don't know if I want to, boys. So... We'll take out uh, these little smaller cities right here. First, uh, Georgia and, uh, and well, was it the Savannah and Charleston. We're going to take out these two. Philadelphia is going to be really hard to take out. It's their capital. We've got New York and we've got um, Falmouth. We've got Boston. Boston's going to be a really tough one as well. They've got walls and everything, just like uh, Philadelphia. Uh, the most difficult part of Philadelphia is also... Sure, New York has some armies and stuff. Maine, the Fall Fort, they probably have some armies. Uh, but Bo Philadelphia in itself has an army, just like them. But also has another wall of armies right here. They're ready for war. A potential war against us. They're ready, I can tell. It's going to be rough. We might lose this war, boys. We might um, have to make a lot of concessions. I don't know if I want to do do it but at the same time i kind of want to do it so you know it's it's part of the deal it's, it is what it is really so we don't have anything else that we can do we're just going to continue what about the french war how's the french doing right now the uh they're doing fine it looks like they're not losing any territories or whatever yeah i think uh pretty much everything's the same uh except for me over here as you can see sweden has nori under the scheme, so Sweden is moving up big time. They're probably at war. They're always at war with Russia for some reason. So I don't know. Uh, aside from that, I don't know what else really is big. There's the Ottomans. Obviously, they have a lot. Okay, boys, we're in the next turn, 1792. We're about to start the war. We're about to declare war to the Americans. I am not ready for it at all. Our armies are not fully completed at all. Uh, it's going to be hard. It's definitely going to be hard right here. As you can see, my armies are not completed. I'm going to get destroyed. I'm going to have to defend myself big time. There, there's two, almost two fully completed armies right here. They're going to destroy my ass. But um, it is what it is. I, I have to deal with what I have. And that's what I have for now. So it is what it is, I guess. Uh, I've got a better army over here. More prepared, almost like getting there. Getting there in terms of uh, production, but uh, recruitment. But uh, my army is here, is just about ready to attack uh, Georgia. So we're gonna have to do it. What is this? The sign of an immigrant by 23, 24 stock broker brokers under the spreading sprouts of buttonwood 
uh, three on Wall Street has uh, herald the founding of New York Stock Exchange. All right, boys, Wall Street is born, boys. It's just built, so Wall Street has just been uh, created. Interesting. Uh, let's won't survive for too long. Let me tell you that for sure. Let me see real quick. Uh, do we have sell some stuff right here we can build? I don't think so. I think that's pretty much it, boys. We're about to declare war to the Americans. I'm scared. Uh, I'm not ready for that type of war, but we're going to do it. I mean, we don't have a, too much of a choice, really. We got to do what we got to do. We got to uh, try our best right here. So let's see how it's going to go. Uh, probably going to get destroyed on the north, completely destroyed on the south. I should be able to hold it down. And the Cherokee, maybe they can go and help me out eventually over here. So they, don't, they didn't join. Okay, good. So we are only at war with the United States as far as we are concerned. But uh, still, it's still a pretty... I mean, they're rich. So they, they, they can't rebuild as much, right? Uh, they're rich, so they can build pretty much a good army it's their uh, their army itself their main army is terrifying um so let's see what we can do here boys i guess that's the reinforcements from charleston probably so we got that right here okay so we're just gonna siege for now uh these two guys are definitely gonna cause us problems but we gotta stay in our cities and wait for them to attack us all right we stay in our cities we are not attacking them unless I have a full army. I'm literally not attacking them unless I have a full army, boys. That would be suicide to do, uh, to do otherwise. So uh, I'm not gonna do it. There we go. Just build, uh, build a bunch of armies. I'm just gonna con start building a bunch of armies, a bunch of uh, of people everywhere. It's just a shame I can't have cannons. I'm gonna have to uh, deal with that another time. These I don't. I don't need to build any armies right here. All right, we'll be fine on that side. They won't uh, attack me. I might want to uh, build an army right here, though. I might want to do it, boys. So let's go ahead and create a general right here. Now, having all these armies around definitely gonna hurt our economy yeah definitely gonna hurt uh, hurt our economy but i feel like we're gonna be fine so the americans they're also at war with the uh, england uh, with uh, england so keep that in mind uh boys it looks like they're at england is at war with pretty much everyone though so they are at war with spain as well yeah so you can see spain is kind of sieging a little bit for uh, Qu uh, quebec here so that's gonna be a problem Hopefully they can deal with that. Hopefully I can uh, probably help out uh, Great Britain a little bit here. Give them uh, like 50k or something. Give them 50k so they can uh, build a little bit more armies. Deal with that war. Help them out a little bit in their endeavors. To Shiroki, that's our, it's your time to shine, Shiroki. It's your time to shine. Uh, we are going to do this uh, battle right here. We're going to do this battle and uh take out a uh, savannah uh, or take out georgia and after that battle is done we'll end the video and see where this is going to lead us to we can take out these two no problem i know that for sure it's just this is going to take a long time because here is where their main army is this is where we don't have any defenses this is where we're going to get wrecked i feel like but let's go right into this battle right here boys georgia your uh, European cities, boys, well, actual cities. Look at this. So that's what we're sieging right here. Um, I don't know. That army might be in the city right now. It might actually uh, be in the city. That's going to be uh, complicated if that's the case. Uh, we have some cannons right here, obviously. So our cannons, we're going to be able to put them to good use. I hope so. That is, of course, if... Uh, they don't create some problems with, uh, for us, though. Okay, let me see really quick. So that, that's a general, obviously. Uh, do I not have... I don't think... I think it's my only cavalry unit. My general is my only cavalry unit. So we're going to keep him right there for now. Uh, I've got uh, these guys right here uh, that are going to be in a group. Now, I don't know. Do I want to send them... Over, I can't send them over there. 
we're gonna have to create uh some sort of big time thing where they're gonna have a, a like an advantage or something so uh i'm gonna have to like yeah i'm gonna have to create something like that there we go something like that that's gonna help us out so like a big advantage like that uh toggle like that don't move you guys for the rest of you uh you're gonna go in skirmish mode obviously skirmish mode and you're just gonna go ahead and get there i guess there we go get there now it's gonna be a problem i can already feel uh feel it definitely gonna be a problem we're de uh, probably gonna get uh, attacked from behind or something uh i kind of want my cavalry i want my cavalry to be right there so at least if they're gonna attack me by behind by two fronts we should be uh good with my cavalry uh blocking me no they're actually gonna attack from me from two si uh, the same sides good very good, good and they're not attacking okay so one side from the city the other side from the uh from the other one all right good so here's what's going on at least we're not fighting the, the natives so if we're not fighting the indians boys the natives we're at least fighting gentlemen in types it's a gentleman fight right now so they're gonna go in lines and stuff like this this is good this is better for us in the long term because i can deal more damage that way now they are gonna play dumb and just playing protect themselves probably i don't know how uh, how much range my ca my cannons have so i'm not gonna play too much with that right here but i am gonna protect myself my cavalry is there i don't want to do anything stupid all right so first thing i want to do though i definitely think i should uh right here is my army i definitely think i should just move them out right there and i'm gonna wait for the americans to attack me obviously uh well just take your time buddy i don't think they're gonna come in uh pretty close i think they're just waiting for us they might be waiting for us actually so i think we're gonna have to go on the offensive here uh through the city that might not be a good idea so what i'm gonna do then uh i might end up just uh clearing out we don't want to fight into the city that's not gonna be a good advantage for us i think i think i'm gonna do that right here move right here and you guys are gonna just you're just gonna move right there there we go like that there we go that's what i want to see and uh my cavalry my cavalry right here it's gonna move right there let's go and my cannons now my cannons my that's the main problem we're gonna have to send them all over here there we go i feel like uh, if i send them over there that's gonna be better for us uh, i don't think they're gonna go through the city i really doubt it that would be really surprising if they tried to go to the city already you can tell that they they want to fortify themselves over here so we're gonna wait things out wait for my armies to uh, get in position right here i don't want the game to crash though so i want to be careful right here all right boys so i'm starting to make the orders i'm making the orders right here these guys i want them to go a little bit faster buddies because i need them these guys are going already pretty fast i'm gonna march on get really close to them i guess i gotta go onto the offensive here so that's what i'm gonna do if i have to do it i'll do it i'll go into the offensive here all right i think we're good here uh so they obviously have their all their reinforcements everything here we've got our cannons i don't know if they can actually shoot here i want uh, them to try and shoot maybe get in position or whatever try and shoot some uh cannonballs and stuff all right we're in position are they gonna attack me now i think they are all right they're moving now we're cl close enough to them there we go the combat starting boys the combat is starting let's go there we go we're not fully in position though for these guys but we're in skirmish mode on this side on the left side we are not though uh is there some people that can go skirmish some of you can so i'm gonna i'm gonna try to do as many of them as possible some uh w those that can go on skirmish mode i'll uh, ask them to do so there we go it's just this one unit i guess that didn't uh, couldn't go it, uh, to it there we go skirmish mode is a lot better for us obviously so 
There we go. I'm going to ask for my cavalry right there to be right here. There we go. I'm going to ask them to move. Let's see if anything works really. So if I press F5, uh, F6 and F7, doesn't work. Oh yeah. All right. So I can't go into camera mode, boys. I can't go into camera mode. It never works. So whatever, man. Let's go. We're just we're actually destroying them right now. That cavalry. Look at the cavalry. Playing dumbass. They're trying to charge us, but we are on skirmish mode, which means they can't touch us. We're, we continuously move. Uh, that's what skirmish mode is all about, guys. Attack right in the middle right there. Let's go. Oh, boy. This is a bit all, all over the place, though. When does they start moving? Yeah, they're, they're starting to move with their cavalries. Uh, I'm going to start to charge. There we go. That's a big assault right there. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see right there. There we go, boys. All right. Uh, form up. Go back there right now and go quick. You guys, I think we got to want to have a, a little bit of a tactical retreat right there. Let me uh, get rid of that really quick. All right. So, boys, tactical retreat. Just a quick tactical retreat right there. All right. Let's go right here. And you, boys... Quick tactical retreat like that. There we go. Just just like that. Right, uh, right there. There we go. Let's go, boys. You form up and you do it quick, too. We need it to be in line a quicker, in a quicker position right here. Take care of these fucking cavalries. I'm getting tired of this bullshit right here. These cavalries shouldn't be there. I'm actually... Uh, I'm going to wait for them to attack me. So they went all out. They tried to be like the Indians, but they're not built up like the Indians like the natives uh they uh, tried to attack me in melee i've got skirmish mode on which is basically the anti thing of that so we're good boys they're still gonna try to attack us for some odd reason i don't know why they're trying to do that that's kind of a really odd reason actually a really odd thing to do let's go boys all right so all right all of you I need you in position right now, man. Their cavalries are done for. Let's just get in position nice and quickly. And uh, get rid of that uh, nonsense that's going on right now. Let's go, boys. Uh, skirmish mode, you don't need to be in it anymore. Some of you guys, there we go. Get rid of the skirmish mode. Uh, because I, if we don't really need it anymore. All right, if they want to go into battle with us, we'll let them go into battle. I'm actually going to go ahead and attack them from behind. Let's go. Charge, charge, charge. And you guys continue to shoot into the, the enemies right here. Let's go. Shoot these motherfuckers. Now, it's literally arrows versus guns. Unless it... Or it yeah, it's literally arrows versus guns, but they don't have the morale. I've got some guns here and there, but I don't have a lot of those, so. Alright, guys. Just charge into the enemies that uh, are literally fleeing for their lives right now. Uh, you guys, since they're, they're fleeing right now, you're going to start moving up. Mar march on. Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out. They're going to attack you from behind right here. They're looking to attack you, buddy. Let's go, let's go. Shit. They're going to attack me right here. Uh, flee. You better flee then. Just flee for your life. There we go. Just flee for your life. Don't let them attack you. I think we're good, boys. We're doing a, de a decent job right here. Definitely destroying their ass. Uh, they, they couldn't deal with that. Uh, we managed to deal a substantial amount of damage to them in the first round. Uh, their first assault. So that's pretty good. We're going to actually march on again. Continue to march on. That's what you want to do. Continue the pressure. You pressure uh, pressure them by continuously going up. Uh, marching on. And uh, be, that g literally gives them a lot more pressure when you do that. Uh, my cavalry right here. I think I might want to just go ahead and charge these guys. Let's go. There we go. Charge that army right here. We got this. There we go. Charge them up, boys. They've got a lot of uh, strong units. That's a strong unit right there. A big one. 
think my cavalry should be able to handle it properly though uh these armies are coming back slowly but surely but uh, i think we're good man we're in good position right here we've got hills we've got the cannons are continuously shooting at them so i mean it's all good it's all good we're doing a lot of damage here uh my cavalry is doing just fine against these guys yeah they're losing a lot of people right here so yeah i think we're doing just fine boys we're destroying these uh this is a great battle for us this is a great battle a great it's going to be a great win a great first win no two uh, not too many casualties we're going to be just fine uh let's continue i think i want to be careful with the moving up right there so i'm just going to move up like this and uh you guys uh you've got some range right yeah you've got some range on them they're starting to flee good they're starting to flee which means we're going to continue to uh put some uh put some uh there goes some more uh challenge into them i guess make them flee a little bit further boys let's go we got that so we're actually gonna move up like this now there we go move up like this i don't want the two lines to align themselves together uh, we've got some woods uh to protect ourselves so we're better in the woods a lot better in the woods than they are i don't know where my this is going let me just charge these guys up right now we're we're done with these guys they're fleeing let them flee uh that's all good for me for these guys uh i think we're good uh, let's continue the battle a little bit right here there we go they want to charge us i think they are going to try to charge us there we go look at that they, they're trying to charge us but that's not going to work you're not built like the, uh, the, the the natives so you can't you can't do that you obviously can't let's go i think we're good we're gonna go ahead and uh we're done with them we're done this battle is won boys we won that battle uh this fight is done so just gonna continuously move up like that you guys uh move up faster and uh you guys i think that's done so we're gonna just start moving up a little bit fa like that basically on that side and uh yeah i think we should be good i need to help out my uh my general right here which is losing a lot of units right now so i think i might want to just retreat him for now there we go just retreat him for now get away get away my my uh guns are coming my soldiers are coming to help you out buddy so there we go we're gonna close in right here because we're closing this battlefield so this side is going to be closed by this uh, this army this this army right here this uh side this lineup is gonna take care of uh of this right here let's go boys no you get away you get away right now get the fuck out of here go 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 and quick run away from them run away i don't want to lose the, my general right here so he needs to get the fuck out of here and quick let's go boys there we go deal deal as much uh damage as you can possibly can boys all right this battle is won uh, you guys don't need to see the rest let's go into the next uh thing all right so really great battle for us i mean we only lost 360 soldiers they lost 3400 so that's uh a big time battle for us big win big win georgia uh is ours now so actually a huge win helps out the uh shiroki uh shiroki as well i'm gonna destroy this this is not for us anymore all right so we're just gonna go ahead and rebuild our armies for now as well i mean i could send them right away we didn't lose anybody actually so i could literally send them right away to uh charleston which i'm gonna do i'm gonna send them towards charleston uh population's not too happy right now that's not good uh, if the population's not too happy i need to send some well they'll be fine i think they'll be fine boys yeah they'll be fine they're gonna protest uh, protest a little bit but they're, they're gonna be fine good stuff more stuff that we can build right here i think we're good we're gonna do the battles everything's good our armies are are just good right there can i do something yes i can maybe i don't know agent detected that's not good whatever okay 
uh, this these armies are still building so these I can I can't do anything with them just gonna have to wait things out boys Georgia is out of the case and uh, Charleston is about to be next so remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video I'm gonna see you all for the next one keep it easy